Practicing typing can be repetitive, boring, and exhausting, but it doesn't have to be. Once you know where all of the keys are located on the keyboard, you can dive into any typing game to have some fun while you practice. Hi everyone, I'm Anson Alexander and I'm a touch typing instructor. I enjoy brushing up on my typing skills as well as finding the best tools for my students. I've recently done a deep dive into the best typing games available and I'm here to share my results. Here are my top 10 typing games. Coming in at number 10 is typelit.io. This isn't as much of a game as it is a fun way to practice typing. If you've taken my lessons, you'll notice that I mentioned to open up your favorite book and just start typing out your book. And you can do that with the book actually on your desk. But you can also go here to typelit.io. You can see that they have a number of different books available and you can just click on one, open it up and start typing. You can also upload your own custom book, but there is a fee in order to do this. I haven't tried it, uh, but I'm assuming you could take some sort of digital book and you could upload it here. So then you could type while you read. Hey, you can read a book and practice your typing at the same time. Not a bad deal. Okay, so as much as Typelit isn't necessarily a game, Z-Type is absolutely a game. It's a classic arcade game where you man the controls of a spaceship and have to type out the words to destroy the spaceships that are approaching you. It kind of plays a little bit like Space Invaders, but not exactly. We'll get to that a little bit later on. It's a very simple game. The enemies come in waves uh, via stages. So once you clear one stage, then the next stage comes. There are more words and uh, they come a little bit faster. Sometimes they can start breaking apart and you have to kind of type them as they're breaking apart or else they'll get by you. Uh, so it's a fun game. It doesn't have much depth. There aren't really any rewards or settings, but I did have fun just playing a simple arcade game when typing. Coming in at number eight is Epistory. It's the only game in this list that I haven't played. And the reason that I haven't played it is because it is a pay to play game. You have to buy it. I think it's $15 and I'm just not really at the point where I feel like I need to buy a typing game because there are so many free games available, but it made my list because it had really good reviews all over the internet. If you take a look at its Steam page, the graphics seem really nice and it does seem like it has somewhat of an in-depth storyline. So for those of you who like uh, storylines while you're gaming, this seems to be a great option to play a game and practice your typing at the same time. So again, the only one I haven't played, but it, it has the best graphics in the entire list. Okay, moving on, we have Typer Racer. It's not the only racing game in the list, but it is a fun game. As you can see, it's pretty simple. You just join a race and you go against other people. Now, one thing about Type Eraser that separates it from some of the other games is that you do have to type things correctly. So you can't just kind of mess up a word and then continue on and it just kind of deducts from your score. You actually have to go back and you have to correct it. So it does a good job of teaching you how to type as you would if you were typing a document or something like that. You're not just going to leave a typo. You have to go back and fix it. So it does affect your typing speed. Uh, your accuracy absolutely affects your speed. And Type Eraser does a good job of testing that. Uh, you can look at some high scores and compare yourself against others, but that's about as far as it goes in terms of depth. Coming in in number six is Keyboard Ninja. Now, most of you have probably seen this game in another form. Yes, it's the same thing as Fruit Ninja, but with typing, instead of swiping on your phone or your iPad, you have to type the letters as they appear. You'll notice that some bombs do fly through as well, so you have to avoid those. It's really fun. If you're going to play Fruit Ninja, you might as well play Keyboard Ninja so that you can learn your skill at the same time. You'll notice that you can get combos just like you can in regular Fruit Ninja. There are also some special items that you can get that will make the fruit slow down as it goes across the screen. Uh, so it's quite fun. One of the downsides is that you're only typing letters, whereas in other games you're typing entire sentences, words with punctuation. So it's quite simple and I wouldn't necessarily recommend this as the best way to brush up on your skill, but it is a good way to check your skill because I'll be honest, I actually was playing this and I'm like, well, this is really simple. It's just the letters, I'm not typing real words. And when I first started, I actually was surprised at how difficult that was for me. It wasn't difficult where I couldn't do it, but it was just not as simple as I thought it would be. And I think that's because as we type, the longer we type, the more we get used to typing words. You kind of just type out a word, type out a word, and your fingers kind of get ready for that whole word. And when it's just one letter, I'm kind of like, well, where's that one letter? You know, if I'm typing the word there, I don't usually think about where T H E R and E R, I just type there. And, and so, uh, I did get over that quite quickly after the first few minutes. All of a sudden, I kind of had every letter on the keyboard and I was going quite fast. Uh, but it was kind of a good test in that sense, uh, but it doesn't really help you with the advanced typing skills. Coming in at number five on the list is Spacebar Invaders. That's right, it's the classic Space Invaders, but with a typing twist. As you can see, Spacebar Invaders 
actually has you type real words and it actually gets quite challenging. You can see you have to type special characters. Uh, you can actually choose what type of uh, keyboard and keystrokes you'd like to use, which is a big benefit of this game. It's not quite as simple as it looks. So if you're only learning, you know, a certain set of keys right now, you can make it just be that set of keys. So this is a great practice tool and you get to play the classic Space Invaders. Yes, they're going side to side and each time they hit the side, they come down to the next level. And if they get to the bottom, you're toast. Uh, so uh, have fun with this one. Uh, it definitely gives you that nostalgia feel if you've played the original Space Invaders and uh, definitely a great way to practice typing and have some fun at the same time. Uh, Space Invaders is a classic, and by playing it this way, we're also brushing up on our typing skill at the same time, so that's a win-win in my book. Coming in at number four, we actually have, it's not really a game, it's more of a utility called 10 Fast Fingers. It's a typing speed test, and the reason it's on my list is because a lot of advanced typists, people who like to type for fun, uh, use 10 fast fingers to test themselves against the world. So you just get these random set of words and you just type them for 60 seconds and then it tells you what your accuracy and your speed is and you can compare it to other people. Uh, one of the things that I don't like about 10 fast fingers is that, again here, we're not typing full sentences, we're just typing words. There isn't any punctuation or anything like that. Uh, so it, it does have its limitations in that sense, but it is a great typing uh, speed test and a great way to come in and test your speed one day and then come in a couple weeks later to test your speed again to see if you've progressed at all. Coming in at number three, we have Typer X. Now here is another racing game, and I think there used to be an older version of this, but it's since been upgraded, and I was actually pleasantly surprised when playing this game. As you notice, it's not number one on my list. I still have some other favorites. However, I really loved the clean user interface of this game. It has a few upgrades available for your avatar, although it seems like they could do a little bit more in that sense. Uh, one of the things that I really liked is that you do have to type things properly, so you have to correct, uh, but it has a lot of challenging uh, paragraphs to type, ones with quotes and dialogue and a lot of punctuation, which really was challenging for me, and it actually had me looking at the keyboard for a few things for the first time in quite a while, and so it really gained my respect in that sense, and I think that it has a lot of promise. The user interface is beautiful. Um, you can join teams and there are some statistics you can look at. You can see, you know, that statistics page looks really nice. And I think that there can be even more statistics that they can get out of this. So I'm looking forward to seeing if this game continues to improve. And I'm definitely going to be checking in on it and playing it uh, here and there. So coming in at number two, also more of utility than a game, but an absolute joy to use is monkey type. I was really pleasantly surprised when I jumped in and started using monkey type. It's really a casual way to practice typing. So uh, you can do a timed version where you can see um, you're typing and it tells you your words per minute, your accuracy, that sort of thing. But the thing that is amazing about monkey type is the animation of the cursor as you move through the text. You can see it here in the video, but I'm not sure if it does it justice, but any of these other typing games and tools in this list, when you're typing, it has a certain feel, or when you hit a letter, it pops to the next letter, which is cool and it's kind of accurate, I guess, to how a keyboard works. But with monkey type, you feel like you're flowing. You almost feel like you're singing. And it's a really cool feeling that I've never really had before. And for that reason, it's number two on my list. They have um, another mode here where you can just type out quotes. So that's kind of a cool way to read some interesting quotes and practice typing at the same time. Again, all with that really nice flowy feel to the fingers on the keyboard with the animations as you type. You can also go into Zen mode where you just type whatever words you want and uh, it kind of records how many words you type. I, I've never, I don't know if I would use that, but I suppose, you know, for some people they might just want to, uh, maybe you're going to do that strategy where I talked about reading your favorite book. You could come in here and you could type it into Zen type instead of a word processor and it might just kind of feel better because once you, you try this out, you, I think you'll kind of see what I mean. So for just how well designed monkey type is with their animation and what joy I had in using it. Monkey type is here at number two. So coming in at number one on my list, if you've watched my typing lessons, you've probably already heard me mention this, it's nitro type. When I started doing this deep dive into typing games, I was actually hoping I could find a game that would dethrone Nitro Type as my favorite game so I could find a new typing game to really get into. And I did find a few here in this list that I'm going to look at and watch their development, but Nitro Type stands at number one on my list. It is a full-fledged racing game 
where you compete against other players. There are seasons that change every month with tons and tons and tons of rewards and achievements and progression. As you race, you earn money. And with that, you can unlock upgrades. So you can unlock new cars. You can unlock new flares, new badges, name tags. You can join a team and compete with a team for other rewards. Uh, it's just a lot of fun. And one of the things that I think makes Nitro Type so fun is that it feels really alive. All of these other games, even the other racing ones where you're competing against other players, you kind of feel alone. Those The interfaces are, are a little bit more old school, and it just kind of gives you this feeling that you're really far away from those people that you're racing against. And of course, like Space Invaders, those ones, you are alone, right? This game, it feels like people are there and that it's active. The community's active. Um, there's a little bit of chat you can do. I don't think you can send custom messages, but you can send like the pre preset messages. Uh, I tried to look at all games that would be kid friendly. So every single game on this list should be, but Nitro Type is the one with the most social interaction. Uh, but I think that part of it also makes it the most fun. So there you have it. Those are my top 10. If you're looking to brush up on your typing skills and have some fun at the same time, one of these games is a great option. If you're feeling a little bit intimidated and you want to brush up on your typing skill a little bit before jumping into one of these games, take a look at my four lesson course that I have here on YouTube where I cover all of the primary keystrokes for touch typing. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. If you wanna see more typing content, let me know in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That's all I have for you for today. I'll see you in the typing games. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.